what conditions can be treated with phototherapy? We treat patients with psoriasis with phototherapy, and that's the commonest thing that we treat. And most of our patients coming through the department are treated for psoriasis. We also treat quite a number of patients with eczema and another condition called polymorphic light eruption, which is where people are very sensitive to sunshine. There are quite a lot of other rarer conditions that we sometimes treat with phototherapy, but psoriasis is really the commonest one. What are the benefits of phototherapy? The main benefit, obviously, is to try and improve the skin condition. Uh, with psoriasis, we hope to get the skin more or less completely clear of psoriasis by the end of the course of treatment. And we aim to achieve that in at least 80% of people. So 80% of people having a course of phototherapy for their psoriasis should be clear by the end of treatment. However, it's important to realise that it's not a cure of the condition, and the condition may come back after some time. So the benefits uh, in psoriasis usually last, on average, between six and nine months. And we do expect the psoriasis to start drifting back after a period of time. A good result would be that someone is clear of psoriasis for a year or so, possibly longer. Uh, a, a poor result would be if the psoriasis started to come back within two or three months, and, and that's not really achieving what we're aiming for. But hopefully most people remain clear for quite a while after the course of treatment. How often can the light treatment be repeated? The light treatment can be repeated uh, after a period of time. We don't usually like to repeat the light treatment more than about once a year. Uh, occasionally we'll uh, redo the light treatment within a year if there's particular circumstances that make it necessary. But on average we don't like to do a course of light treatment more than once a year. And quite often people come back perhaps every two or three years for a repeat course. What are the possible side effects of treatment? Okay, so there are uh, several potential side effects that you need to be aware of. In the short term, it's possible to get burning of the skin, just as you'd expect with uh, too much sunshine. We are very careful about the amount of light that we give, and we obviously try to avoid burning, but it's a small risk that somebody can burn during the course of treatment. Uh, occasionally people can get an allergic reaction to the light and again we try to avoid people who seem to be very sensitive to the light but sometimes um, people develop an allergic reaction to the light and that manifests as a, as a rash. Occasionally people can be itchy with a, during phototherapy and sometimes it can actually make uh, someone's condition worse rather than better. Obviously again that's something we'd, we'd like to try and avoid. About 10% of people with psoriasis get actually worse with ultraviolet light. And if, if you're somebody whose psoriasis does usually get worse in the summer, then we often don't recommend phototherapy, although we might give it a go if you're, if you're very keen. Occasionally, uh, people can develop a cold sore uh, with sunshine exposure, and that's the same during the course of treatment. Then there are some long-term side effects, so not side effects that you'd expect to experience during the course of treatment, but in the long term, if you have a lot of treatment, uh, uh, ultraviolet light can increase the aging of the skin, so wrinkling and so on, uh, and it increases your risk of skin cancer. That, that really, those risks aren't really very significant until you've had two or three hundred treatments with ultraviolet light B or TLO1. 
uh, but they start to increase gradually after that. For that reason, we, we don't usually recommend that you have more than about 400 treatments in a lifetime.